Today, we're comparing neighboring states, West Virginia and Virginia, to highlight the pros and cons for you. I'm Kristen, here with my business partner, Hannah. We live on the border between Virginia and West Virginia, so we travel back and forth all the time for work and recreation. And as home prices continue to soar throughout the country, we see buyers are getting more and more careful about where they spend their money. And we've personally seen a shift in more calls and sales in West Virginia. If you're debating between West Virginia and Virginia, we're going to compare taxes, location, lifestyle, economy, climate, and even a little school data to help you decide which location may be right for you. According to the Tax Foundation, West Virginia has an overall lower tax rate coming in 9.8% in 2022 compared to Virginia's overall tax rate of 12.5% for the same year. Notably, West Virginia real estate has some of the lowest rates in the country, at 0.55% in 2022. Virginia came in at 0.72% at the same year, over a 30% difference in taxes. Your home is likely to cost less in West Virginia on top of that. In 2023, the median property value in West Virginia was 154,000 versus 370,000 in Virginia. So your house might cost more than twice as much and your property taxes are about 30% higher across the board? Not across the board. It really depends on the tax rate in the towns you're looking at and the locations you're comparing. Some parts of Virginia can have similar or lower home costs than the more populous parts of West Virginia, specifically the Eastern Panhandle. Sure, for example, Jefferson County's average home price in the last year was 408,000 versus Page County in Virginia at 325,000. But you have to get pretty remote in Virginia to get those lower home prices. If we look at Fairfax County, the average price in the last year was 790,000. Ooh, it seems like it's hard to find an affordable single family home in Virginia these days. On that note, let's compare the median sales of just single family homes in four of the counties we see people comparing most often between West Virginia and Virginia. Berkeley County, Jefferson County, Clark County, and Frederick County. The median home prices in these counties over the past year were as follows. Berkeley County, 325,000. Jefferson County, 423,000. Frederick County, 450,000. And Clark County was 549,000. If you're really wanting a single family home with a yard, these numbers may help guide you towards the best counties to explore on either side of the state line. If you're looking for other recommendations in your price point, send us a message or you can book a short call with us in the link below in the description. West Virginia is 24,000 square miles and is aptly named the Mountain State, being the only state entirely within the Appalachian or Appalachian, depending on where you come from, how you say it, mountain region. It's considered the land of hills and hollows. Meanwhile, Virginia is nearly double the size, covering over 42,000 square miles. Virginia also has a little more geographic diversity. There's a Tidewater region, Piedmont region, the Blue Ridge Mountains region, Valley and Ridge region, and a small western corner of the Appalachian Plateau. Okay, that's how I see it, apparently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you're an ocean lover, you will have a faster drive to the shore in many parts of Virginia. West Virginia may not be as close to the ocean, but it does boast some amazing bodies of water, including lakes, streams, and rivers. Have you been to the New River Gorge yet? Not yet, but it's on my bucket list for the year. All right. Gotta go visit Appalachia. <laughs> Virginia tends to be closer for commutes to DC, while West Virginia is well known for its abundance of outdoor activities and a slower pace of life. Before we jump into the economy section, let us know if we've earned your like or subscribe, but only if this content is helpful to you. Your interactions help our channel reach more people. Or if you have more to add to the West Virginia, Virginia debate, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let us know if we're pronouncing Appalachia right in the comments. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia's population size and growth stand out in comparison to West Virginia. Virginia has 8.5 million residents compared to West Virginia's 1.79 million. Virginia's population is expected to grow over the next five years while West Virginia's is in decline. The decline in West Virginia is in part because of the aging population. And the parts of the state around the major cities are expected to grow, in particular Monongalia, Jefferson, and Berkeley counties. Recall Virginia's median home price at 387,000, more than double West Virginia's coming in at 154,000. However, more people in West Virginia own their home. In 2021, nearly 74% of West Virginians were homeowners, compared to about 66% in Virginia. That makes sense since the cost of living is substantially higher in Virginia. Mm, true. One thing holding back West Virginia's economy is a resistance to diversifying and modernizing when it comes to energy. This leads to high energy costs for its residents. The state is well known for its coal reserves. Coal deposits are reported to occur in all but two of the state's 55 counties. That's a lot of coal. It really is, and it's not surprising with this amount of coal that the state has been resistant to overhaul its energy infrastructure as other states have. 
Between 2008 and 2020, the average retail electricity price increased at five times the national average in West Virginia. Hmm. On the bright side, there are extra incentives the federal government is prepared to offer West Virginia due to the major impact the fossil fuel downturn has had on the state. We will see what happens there in the future. I've definitely heard about more solar farm plans in the works. I haven't seen that many yet, have you? I have. I've seen quite a few in my recent drives through Berkeley and Jefferson counties. Mm. We'll look briefly at schools with the caveat that different counties will vary greatly in terms of data. West Virginia had a graduation rate of over 91% in 2021 to 2022. Virginia was just slightly ahead with a graduation rate of just over 92%. Being that it's a smaller state, West Virginia has 637 public schools, while Virginia has over 2,000 public schools. Both states reported a 14 to 1 student teacher ratio, though these numbers fluctuate greatly amongst different schools and even counties. Most notably, West Virginia offers a scholarship program for families wishing to opt into private school options. So this might be a factor in your decision as well. Be sure to research the requirements so you know if you qualify before making your move. If you wanna talk more about school options or get a copy of our free school research checklist, send us a message. Now let's talk about jobs. The average salary in Virginia was around 80,000, while in West Virginia, the average salary was a little over 50,000. However, salaries in West Virginia seem to be growing at a faster pace with a 5% increase year to year in West Virginia whereas Virginia's salary increased less than 1%. Unemployment rates as of the end of 2023 are lower in Virginia at 2.9%, while in West Virginia, they're at 4.3%. The workforce participation in West Virginia is smaller proportionally with more people not employed, but this could be due to the fact that this is an affordable place to retire, or that more people can afford to live on a single income here. A study by Bankrate recently named West Virginia the most affordable state to retire in the United States due to the lower housing costs, no tax on social security and other factors. The homesteader exemption may be one of those factors. If you're curious about specific tax benefits for West Virginia residents over the age of 65, look that one up or better yet, talk to your favorite tax professional. Virginia has it as well, but the West Virginia tax relief was about four times higher than the Virginia one at the time of this recording. Overall, there was definitely more of a rat race feel to parts of Virginia, especially Northern Virginia, with the long commute and competitive workplaces. I know when I was working as a private school teacher in Northern Virginia, the demand for homework and enrichment was high, even in the kindergarten years. Determining an ideal environment in which you will thrive is crucial. It's definitely worth getting the vibe of an area and asking a lot of questions before making a move to make sure you'll be happy. We see more major distinctions between Virginia and West Virginia when it comes to climate. West Virginia has moderately cold winters and warm, humid summers, with some of the mountainous regions famous for high precipitation and great skiing opportunities. My personal favorite is Canaan Valley Resort in Davis, West Virginia. Winter sports are really one of the things West Virginia can hold over Virginia's head. The verdant landscapes and distinct seasonal changes make it a haven for nature enthusiasts. However, the heavy snowfall during winters and occasional flooding can pose challenges. Conversely, Virginia offers a more varied climate. Its mild winters compared to West Virginia facilitates a flourishing agricultural sector. It gets hotter the further south you go, and also the further east you travel from the mountain ranges. It's a little more hot and humid for longer periods in parts of Virginia. Anyone who has lived on or near a mountain can attest to driving in and out of different ecosystems. We have a few of these in Jefferson and Clark County that make for greater differences in the road conditions and during rain or snowstorms. So if you want guaranteed snow and cooler weather, you'll wanna look in Northern Virginia or parts of West Virginia, especially in the mountains. But if you prefer hotter climates, Southern Virginia may be a better fit. Well, that's our West Virginia, Virginia showdown for you. Truly the best way to compare is to visit both states. Or call local realtor duo who lives on the border and can give you specific insights and resources on different locations you're considering. If you're still on the fence or ready for a more specific comparison, check out our Clark County versus Jefferson County video next. If you are ready to talk about your home search, send us a text or book a time for a short Zoom call to get started. See you next time.